So you have a diode laser cutter and you're looking for money making ideas for craft shows and the like? Well I have one right here for you. What is it? Well let's jump into this together and I'll share it with you. Welcome to this episode. In this episode, I want to share this card design I came up with to be cut on a diode laser. Uh, now, actually, you can cut it on any type of laser if you want. It's just out of construction paper, not that difficult to cut. It actually cuts pretty quick. I'll run a time lapse of it being cut in the corner. Only takes a few minutes, not a biggie. Uh, but with this, what I did is I went out to the internet, picked up some royalty free images, did a little work in a paint program, free paint program, to kind of clean it up a little bit. And what I did is I cut it in half and then mirrored it. So as you can see, it's a hand, I think they call it the hand, uh, the phantom of hand or something like that, or an evil eye thing, whatever. Uh, I picked it up and I thought it was really cool. And again, wanted to do a card out of it. So I cleaned it up and I brought it into Lightburn and I traced the uh, bitmap image. I then replicated it, flipped it, and then put a square in the middle and uh, joined it with Boolean logic and here it is a card. Now a couple other tricks that I'm going to share with you. One of the other pieces I did is obviously this is all cut out from a larger piece of stock such as this. What I also did and you really can't see it here maybe if I flip it over is I had the laser actually uh, just partly cut through. In other words, make a bit of a, a mark here so I could easily fold these. Now I did this I think at about 40 millimeters a second full power on a 15 watt input diode. And I probably go a little bit more, but um, it got the idea across and actually it works pretty good. So in other words, they fold easier uh, because one of the things these are, because so much is cut out, a little bit flimsy, but this really came out really cool, guys. Now, one of the other pieces with the um, construction paper, you notice it's two colors. So one color on one side, one color on the other. So you get this really neat effect on the front here. Now, you guys want this file? I'll have this file out on the design store for free for you guys. You can go out there, download it, do whatever you want with it, have fun with it, sell it. Uh, it you know, it's a great, um, you know, again, piece to practice with, produce it for your family, craft shows. I'm going to be doing some other ones like this, and I'll have them out on the design store for free. This is an SVG file, so you can make it bigger, smaller, you know, all, what kind of shape you want, all that kind of stuff. I will also, in a different uh, file on the design store, have the actual hand itself as a complete unit because I'm also going to be doing the near future video where I see and see that out of a block of wood because I think it's just a cool looking thing. You guys might remember I did this in 3D printing a long time ago, uh, brought it into OpenSCAD, uh, rendered it, and then 3D printed it, and it came out pretty cool, and that's out on Thingiverse. Uh, I probably also put that STLs out in the design store. So I'm putting, well, I'm putting some of my stuff still out on Thingiverse. Uh, I've been just really disappointed with Thingiverse's performance and everything else. So I started my own uh, outlet uh, for all my models. I've got, you know, like 300 models. It's going to take me a while to get, get them all out there. Uh, but I've started the design store. The link will be down below. And uh, I'm going to put all my stuff out there. So if you're looking to get anything I do on this channel, look out there first because it'll likely be out there, especially any of the newer stuff. And I'm going to try to catch up on the older stuff. So with that, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. If you got other ideas for me to try out, hit me up in the comments below. Always love hearing from you guys on new challenges and things like that. And I'll give it a shot. So with that, again, big thumbs up, subscribe, swag shop up there, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.